Good day grade 11 and welcome to your next lesson in trigonometry. In our last lesson we were solving equations for specific regions either for like 0 to 360 degrees or from 3 minus 360 to plus 360 and in this e lesson we're going to be finding the general solution for an equation. So what does that mean? That means that we can find an answer for the solution and then basically I'll give you an expression that it doesn't matter how many times we go around the class diagram you will get the right answer. So let's look at this. We've got sine 2 alpha is equal to negative 0 0.68. To make this easier to start with let's pretend that that is one whole angle instead of 2 alpha. So what we're going to do is we're going to let theta equal 2 alpha. Therefore, let's pretend that now we've got sine of theta is equal to negative 0 0.68 and let's solve as per normal. We're going to find the reference angle and the reference angle, remember, is just the second function of the positive value. So we just want to find this we just want to find the size of this angle. So we're going to go shift sine of 0 0.68 and we get 42.84 degrees. So therefore theta is 42.84 degrees. But remember that that's our reference angle. We've got all stations to Cape Town. Right. So therefore, and we want sine to be negative. Therefore it's going to be over here and over here. So therefore our angle is actually, our 2 alpha is actually 180 degrees plus 42.84 degrees because it's in this quadrant. And then what we're going to write is we're going to write plus or minus k 360 and that is the part which makes it part of the fact that it's a general solution. Remember I said to you that if you had for example a theta and then we said okay we want theta plus 360 degrees and what did we say we went all the way around back up and you got back to the same angle or if we had theta minus 360 degrees we'd be going all the way around back that way and make it back to zero and this is what this plus minus k360 where k stands for k is any number like one two three so in previous examples we've even seen things like sine of 720 plus theta which we agreed was exactly the same as sine of theta because all that we're doing is going around this cross diagram twice because 720 is two times 360 and that's what we mean by that so 2 alpha is equal to 180 plus 42.84 plus or minus k360 because we want to be in this quadrant or we haven't finished 2 alpha is going to be 360 minus 42.84 plus or minus 360 degrees so in other words we've got an angle here and we have an angle here but that's our 2 alpha so now let's solve for this we're going to go 2 alpha is equal to and we're going to pop out our calculator and we're going to 180 plus 42.84 and that becomes 222.84 so this is 222.84 degrees plus or minus plus or minus k360 or 2 alpha is equal to and again let's get out the calculator and it's going to be 360 minus 42.84 I just did a plus so let's go back minus 42.84 and that is 317.16 degrees so it's 317.16 plus or minus k 360. So grade 11's what you need to realize is the minute we have our reference angle, when we start manipulating anything within the reference angle, we need to have written our plus minus k360. Why? Because now we want alpha and to get alpha we need to divide by 2. And that means we're going to divide both these numbers by 2. So that alpha is equal to 111.42 degrees plus or minus k 180 degrees.
okay and we know that that should happen because we know that the number in front of the alpha actually affects our period and this k 180 degrees is actually affecting our period so that is actually the correct thing to do similarly yeah we're going to divide this by two so it becomes alpha is equal to two goes into three once remainder one two goes into eleven five remainder one two goes into seventeen eight times remainder one two goes into eleven five remainder one and then it's eight plus or minus k 180 degrees and those there grade 11s are the answer for the general solution for this answer question this equation let's do another example it says determine the general solution for tan y is equal to minus 2.68 so the first thing we need to do is isolate your tan y so we're going to go tan y is equal to negative 1.34 I've just divided both sides by my 2 now again to get my reference angle I'm going to go y is equal to tan second function of 1.34 remember we do the positive values so if we do this we go shift tan of bracket 1.34 close bracket equals 53.27 so y is equal to 53.27 degrees but now that is my reference angle now if I draw my cast diagram we've got all stations to Cape Town and we see that this is a negative therefore we know the tan has to be in the second quadrant or the fourth quadrant therefore y is going to be 180 minus 53.27 plus or minus and this is important grade 11s we know that the period of a tan graph is what does not 360 degrees as is normally 180 degrees so it's plus or minus k 180 degrees or and I'm gonna write it over here so I can manipulate y is equal to 360 degrees minus 53.27 degrees plus or minus k180 now this one's much easier because it's just a plain y so therefore y is equal to let's get out our calculator we're going to go 180 minus 53.27 and that equals 126.73 so it's 126.73 degrees plus or minus k180 or it is y is equal to and again let's get out our calculator and we're going to go 360 minus 53.27 equals 306.73 so this is 306.73 degrees plus or minus k 180 okay let's look at this example this time we've got general solution determine the general solution for cos of these plus 20 degrees equals zero so I want you to think of this as one whole angle just like we did in the first example so we could they say let alpha equal theta plus 20 degrees okay therefore we could say that cos of alpha equals naught so to find our reference angle we're going to go alpha is equal to cos negative one of zero and we're going to go shift tab and we're going to go look for and it is that so we're going to go shift cos of zero and we find that it's 90 degrees so alpha equals 90 degrees is my reference angle so if we go look at this we've got all stations to Cape Town do you see that cos is positive over here and cos is positive in the first quadrant and the third quadrant so the first quadrant 90 degrees is cool but in the fourth quadrant what do we have sorry I said first and third I meant first and fourth so in the fourth quadrant what is this this is 360 minus theta so therefore we can say that theta plus 20 degrees equals 90 plus 
or min, okay, plus k 360 degrees. Why? Because the period of a cos graph is 360 degrees. Or we can say theta plus 20 degrees is equal to 360 minus 90 to accommodate the fourth quadrant plus k 360 degrees. Now, I know when we had a 2 alpha, for example, here, we divided everything by 2. But in this case, what are we doing? We're going to take the 20 across to the other side. So we get theta is equal to 90 plus k360 minus 20. And then we're going to add or subtract like terms. So 90 minus 20 is 70 plus k360. Okay, and the reason in this case why I've written K360 instead of plus or minus K360 is because in some of the textbooks they just add plus K360 and then K can be anything from minus 2, minus 1, 1, 2, etc. So I wanted you to get used to that, but let me go back to being plus or minus K360 just so that you can get used to seeing what I've written all the time. And then we've got theta in this case is going to be 360 minus 90 is 270 plus or minus k360 minus 20 degrees. Therefore, this becomes 250 degrees plus or minus k360. And that's that general solution. End of story. Not too bad, hey? Let's look at this final example, which looks very scary, but actually isn't. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve for tan of theta plus 15. So we're going to go tan of theta plus 15 is equal to 5 over root 13 divided by 5. Now remember this is actually the same thing as divided by 5 over 1. So when we divide by fraction, what do we do? We tip in times. So we've got tan of theta plus 15 is equal to 5 over root 13 times by 1 over 5 and then left, luckily things cancel. This time we've got tan of theta plus 15 is equal to 1 over root 13. And then again to make things easier for you to understand I'm going to let this here be alpha. So I'm going to let alpha equal theta plus 15 degrees. So therefore we've got tan of alpha is equal to 1 over root 13. So to get our reference angle, what do we do? We go alpha is equal to the second function tan of 1 over root 13. So we get our calculator out and we go shift tan bracket 1 divided by shift root 13 close bracket equals 15.5. So therefore alpha is equal to 15.5 degrees. And now we do our cast diagram. And it's all stations to Cape Town. And we see that tan is positive in the first quadrant and is positive in the third quadrant. Now in the first quadrant that's not a problem because we're just using the normal acute angle but in the third quadrant what is it? It's 180 plus theta. So whatever our reference angle is going to be it's going to be 180 plus that. So therefore our answers are theta plus 15 degrees is equal to 15.5 plus or minus k and remember that what is the period of a tan graph it is 180 degrees so it's going to be 180 degrees okay therefore theta is going to be 15.5 plus or minus k 180 degrees minus 15 which equals 0 0.5 plus or minus k 180 degrees now that is the answer for my first quadrant. That is my first quadrant's answer. I'm just going to change into a different color because I'm running out of space. And then I'm going to do the third quadrant's answer. I'm going to do it up here. So the third quadrant's answer is theta plus 15 
is equal to 180 plus our 15.5 plus or minus k 180 degrees. Therefore, theta is equal to 180 plus 15.5 minus 15 plus or minus k 180 degrees. Therefore, we've got 180 plus 0.5, which is 180.5 plus or minus k 180 degrees. And that grade 11 is general solutions. So, what are your tricks? Your tricks are always to find your reference angle, then always to then choose your quadrants, and then basically solve for your theta. And remember that you have to add or subtract your period, the equivalent of a period, either 360 or 180. Grade 11s, please go practice, 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 and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.